Hi everybody, it's Owen from farfaway.org. I thought I'd show you the Malifaux Vassal module that I've been working on over the last few nights. Um, so anybody familiar with Vassal, it's uh, essentially an online toolkit to allow people to play board games. Uh, so there's no game logic in this, it just allows you to move pieces around, um, but it's highly customizable. Um, so I decided I'd take the War Machine and Hordes module and add the components necessary to play Malifaux. So Obviously the main component I needed to add was card manipulation, so I'll just give you an example of how the cards work. So a fake deck exists there with all of the cards in it with custom artwork um, and a discard pile beside it. So you can see here the cards moving from one deck to the other and just being discarded. Um, you can also throw all of those cards back in and then reshuffle that deck. Um, you can also have a hand, so let's Imagine it's the start of a game and I'm player one, and I draw some cards into my hand here. Well, it's where I stack the deck. Okay, so I can fit them as necessary. Um, you can see this hidden view as well. So if I drag this card out onto the main playing area, I can obviously see the value that that's ten of crows, but my opponent wouldn't. He'd just see the, the back artwork of the card. So I'll pull that back into the hand for the moment. Um, so let's get rid of that hand and, and show you some of the piece movement. Um, so let's imagine this is a typical turn. And let's assume the player two has a, a hand of cards as well, but, but we're not going to use them. So let's flip for initiative. Okay, so player one will get to go first. So let's run through a typical turn. So the death marshal up the top near the building. Um, he can move forward. You can use the arrow keys to move, or you can drag pieces, and you can measure the distances if you if you wish. Um, one arrow key, in the same as the War Machine and Hordes module, uh, constitutes uh, one inch. So let's move the deck marshal two walks for eight inches total. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then pass over to the flesh construct. So let's assume that the the resurrectionist player um, drops a card out of his. Uh, hand to allow it to, to move regularly. So it has a walk of five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So you can see it's fairly straightforward. Um, so let's just move uh, everyone up just some random distances. So I'm just going to pick up a piece of movement. So I'm moving Sebastian, uh, moving the nurse up. So obviously not realistic on a turn here, moving another nurse and then moving McMorning up. And then Lady Justice will actually move her properly because I want to show an example of combat. So let's get her going this way. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and then we move the dead marshals and the judge up a wee bit. So one thing you'll notice, uh, a legacy from the War Machine uh, module, is all of the pieces have a, a movement marker. So you see that kind of white shadow at the back of them. So you can see clearly which pieces have moved and which haven't and who's activated. All right, so let's... Um, Clear the moved hands, uh, we'll put the cards back into their respective decks and um, shuffle those decks. Now I'll go to my control hand and say I want to discard maybe the 6 and the 7 and then draw two more cards into there. Alright, so there's Black Joker, so I'll probably want to hold that in my hand and not play it obviously. Okay, and then let's see how another turn falls out. So um, again we flip for initiative, so player one, player two. So let's say I move the death marshal up the top, so one, two, three, four, and one, two, and put him in behind a bit of terrain. So obviously you'd have to agree with your opponent the, the height of the individual uh, pieces of terrain, um, but you could easily mark them with different counters to say you know, that those crates at the top are height three, the building is height five, or whatever. Um, so let's move the flesh construct, so I want to give an example of, of Malie here. So the flesh construct is just going to act slowly, and he's just going to move five inches. So one, two, three, four, five, putting him obviously into harm's way. So Lady Justice, when she activates, let's just say she does a two action and decides to charge. Uh, so she's going to charge in her eight inches, one, two, three, four, five. And we can zoom in, get a slightly better view of the action. So Lady Justice is charged into the Flesh Construct. There are overlays to, to check for uh, melee range. So she has uh, a melee of two. Um, so 
the keyboard shortcut to activate it. There's also a menu system to turn it on or off. Uh, so she's after charging in. Um, she has so it's an opposed duel. Um, I forgot to do a sword style, but let's just see how it pans out anyway. So with the great sword, she's a CB of seven. So seven plus two is nine, so not particularly good. Uh, the construct has a defense of three. So Lady Justice is hitting him at the moment for a difference of two. And here's where you have the opportunity to, to cheat. So uh, say for some reason I want to cheat that quite high. Um, I could cheat it up, for example, like that. And so on. So there are mechanisms for marking damage in the War Machine and Hordes module, but I need to modify them a little bit for the um, for the Malifaux module. So that's the, the basics of it so far. Um, I think you can see how it'd be fairly straightforward to play a game out. The, the cards work, um, which is the, the main difference between this and War Machine and Hordes in terms of how you'd actually play it. Um, so I'm going to keep working on it a bit. Um, I can't release it into the public yet. I need to get approval from several different people for you know, the artwork and uh, for just the, the possibility of doing this. Um, but at the moment it's a, a nice t toy for myself and maybe some of my friends. Alright, uh, thanks for watching the video guys.